here by just grabbing the box. Hi, this is uh, for Thomas Volker who contacted me on my Facebook page with a question regarding something I mentioned on my latest uh, DVD, uh, Competential Tiger and Snake. Now, he asked about a drill I explained there but didn't show, which is a drill for hand uh, strength, hand grip conditioning, which is something you need to do for some of the techniques that I showed there in that, that video. So it's very simple, all you need is a sheet of paper. I'm um, taking a smaller one from a small newspaper, you should actually need one that is twice this size. So that would be uh, what you practice with. Different ways of doing this drill, I'll show you a couple of variations, but uh, just, just have fun with it and, and see uh, if it helps you out. But the basic drill is very simple. You just grab the piece of paper like this, okay, at the edge, and then you start closing your hands and make it into a small ball. So I'll do it quickly. Okay, and this is what's left. So, um, as you notice, in the beginning you can go really fast, it's very easy. Okay? After a little while it gets a little bit more difficult and what you then have to do is start turning the ball over in your hand to make sure that you can get every single piece and close it and make it as small as possible. Um, that's the whole goal of the drill is that as you get into the drill it takes longer. Uh, the longer it gets, the more difficult it, be it becomes. You can add to that difficulty in two ways. So as you get tired from doing this really fast, you start digging in harder. Uh, and instead of just closing your hand like this, what you want to do is actually squeeze, tighten up your whole forearm, your hand, your wrist, and so on. Um, and, and make sure that you, you tighten up as, as hard as you can to make the ball smaller. Um, two variations that I like to use, either just closing the hand like you would a fist for striking, or you can close it in a claw-like fashion with the fingertips digging in like this. Okay, so you're actually tearing, ripping, crushing, and so on. So you, you use both ways. I mean, do do whatever you like. See what, what works best for you. So that's how I like to do it. Um, it's very practical uh, drill. It's very easy. It's cheap. Just an old, an old newspaper, uh, and and you you can go through it rel relatively quickly anywhere, anytime. Um, the opposite side uh, of the coin here. Uh, of this drill is that once you make it into a small ball you have to open it up again so what you'll do is from is the opposite thing is just start opening the ball and try to make it one uh, sheet of paper again so this takes a, it's a different kind of work workout for your hands and fingers so you just open it up and you would actually keep going until you have that uh, sheet of paper again it's going to get ripped to shreds it's going to be holes in there don't worry about that, it's about working your hands and your fingers in a different manner. So that's uh, one of the ways that I really like to do the drill. Uh, doing one sheet of paper, like I said, would be one repetition. You would do, I don't know, like 10 repetitions or more. You can do the same hand all the time, alternating hands, both hands at the same time. Doesn't matter, do it any way you like, see what works for you. Um, and obviously both the closing and then opening up again, making it into a ball and then making it into a sheet of paper again. Um, to, to use the different uh, ways of, of working with the hands. Um, here's the thing, what you want to do is not just idly be crushing the paper into a small ball, but you're actually focusing on control. So you can work on just using all the fingers at the same time. You can do a squeezing motion with just two fingers, three, four, whatever. You can work just two fingers at the bottom, just a little pinky and a thumb. Um, Whatever you want to you do it, but just work everything in, in different ways to get the most out of this training drill. Um, after a little while, what will happen is that you'll get better at that uh, and you'll start developing some hand strength. And then it's time to put that into good use. So here's another way of doing it. You start off with another sheet of paper and this time what you'll do is, is uh, visualize that there's, I don't know, there's a guy, you, you grab him by the throat, there's a, an arm in the way, you, you grab it, you rip it off uh, from whatever he's holding you, you need to grip, uh, grip his wrist, his hand, and, and just peel it off, and dig it into his hands or wrist to, to make sure you get a good grip and actually cause some pain at the same time. Picture a scenario where you need to grip, okay, and that's what you're actually doing. You can do always the same thing, you can do different uh, different simulations all uh, in, in one go, it doesn't matter. I'll just show it quickly. Okay. 
and that's just an example. It doesn't have to be this. It can be quicker, it can be slower. You could do it like this, just hang it up here and then squeeze hard, okay, to add some extra strength. Or you can do it from one hand to the other. Okay, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can have footwork to that, you can do rising levels up and down. That there's endless variations that you can do with that. The whole thing is still that you're primarily working hand strength and then applying it into a more practical uh, context. So that's the drill that I mentioned for hand grip strength, uh, the conditioning drill. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. So that was the exercise that I showed in my DVD. If you're interested in getting that one, uh, what I suggest is that you go to my website, bimsblog.com, uh, go to the products page, which you find in the menu, and then click on videos, and you'll find a direct link there to the Palette Impress website uh, product page for that video. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this one, and once again, see you next time.